oh no, the longer I let it go for, the worse it gets. I don't know what it's doing. It's making me so uncomfortable. Did you know the basic raft travels at 1.5 meters per second? Or that you can actually build a flying raft? Which doesn't count as foundation pieces, so we can make this really, really fast because those nine pieces are the only thing slowing us down. And it gets even better if you want to go even higher. Well, that's just encouraged. I can't believe no one ever told me about this before. We can make a flying raft. So we're going to build something pretty outrageous today. The first thing we're going to need is a steering wheel. But we've confirmed that when you're sitting against an island, you go at zero meters per second. If you're paddling yourself along, not very fast. Actually, once you get going, we're touching on three meters a second. So we're going about two and a half meters a second on average just by paddling. So then if we're going with the wind, we're up to about five meters per second. But I need to give myself a little bit more room to work. So our new designed raft is going to look like this two foundation tiles because I can just have the rest floating up there and it's unaffected by what's going on. So then let's see the effect on speed if we had a sail. It's pointed more or less into the wind. So far it's had absolutely no bearing. Don't worry, this will all make sense soon. So to be honest with you, the sail slows us down by 0.2 meters a second for some reason. Even when I put it down in the water, it still slows us down, which isn't what I expected. But I think maybe an engine will solve that problem. And once we fire up this marvel of engineering, that's a little over doubled our speed from 1.5 to 3.2 meters per second on a single engine. The problem with the engines is to place them, you need a lot of space, and I wanted to put everything up there. Adding the second engine put us up to 6.1 meters per second. I love how we can can actually measure this by now because not only can we zoom around the oceans with a flying raft but we can also do it with an underwater raft and pretty much anything you can imagine at this point can and will be done. Our raft is already faster than a shark and we're only going six meters a second. So anyways going faster is fun and all but then what do you do with all this extra speed? Normally you use your raft to go around from island tile and gathering resources or getting to bigger garbage patches in the ocean which is where things start to get interesting again because I can make more garbage spawn in the ocean. This is what four times the garbage looks like and this is what 400 times garbage looks like and we can still escalate so much further but obviously having garbage in the water is cool and all but we're not doing anything with it yet and we're getting closer and closer to the point where we're gonna have to start saving a lot more and also we're probably gonna need a faster raft i don't really want to build a bigger raft so luckily i could just sort of forcibly put engines on top of each other i've never tried this before so i don't think that's gonna go super well but it's sort of gonna save me the trouble of having to put fuel in my engines for a long long line also getting them all to go in the same direction is um maybe gonna be a struggle okay so this is maybe a worse idea than i thought it was and I didn't think it was a good idea to begin with. At least I have my garbage patch so I'm with my kind. I'm gonna have to dream up a better way to do this because that clearly doesn't work. On the bright side I can stack whatever item I want on top of whatever item I want like a billion times over which comes in handy for the garbage. So we just need a little bit more foundation but that's okay the engines can keep up and luckily we have a garbage patch so big we can see the extent of it already. Normally I'm spending a lot of time guesstimating and stuff but I guess I'm actually learning as we go on these things. See to collect the garbage we're supposed to use collector nets like this but they can only hold so much inside them but that's under normal circumstances and we don't play anything under normal circumstances. I'm just here to try and melt things. Do you hear that? That's the sound of things starting to heat up in here. So there's a few ways we can escalate it from here I can just stack these on top of each other rather endlessly or I can also increase the size of them or both that way we're not missing any garbage ever and the game is definitely gonna start crying a little bit from here especially when you turn up the speed and the garbage look at that we're cleaning up the ocean we haven't even turned on the engines yet so we can actually do this quicker I don't know how much those are gonna hold so we'll find out soon but so far we've got a lot of uh <laughs> resources in our raft Okay, we did have one or two things starting to slip through. One of those is full, so we need bigger and better. So if I understand what I just did correctly, these nets should now hold unlimited things. So the game's obviously going to love that, and it seems to be working so far because we're no longer spitting stuff out. So let's step up the speed and see exactly what happens. It actually works. We're cleaning up everything into our nets. <laughs> There's going to be infinite stuff in there. We're missing a few things down the right side, but the ocean needs to eat too. I suppose the only logical thing to do now would be to add a few more engines for a little bit more speed. Uh, I did also find a way that we can have an engine on a single spot so we don't mean need to make a giant row, which takes 10 years. I'm not really sure what this thing is, but you can um, change the direction of them all at once and turn them on and off all at once. So whatever this stupid contraption is, is probably my new favorite thing. So I'm going to move my base of operations up here so I can see everything at once. And then I think I can just stack a bunch of engines right here so I don't need all that. And you have no idea how happy this makes me because I've done this a lot and I'm really, really sick of placing foundation. So let's force another five engines to sit right here. That is so much quicker. Then we're going to make sure they all have fuel to drink somehow. Whoops. 
I was really hoping I could just sit here and spam E until they're all uh, full, but that doesn't seem to be the case. There's turtles under my raft. All right, well, back to the drawing board on that plan. I guess we're putting these back on again so I can place more engines behind. I know there's probably a way to do that or a mod to fuel the engines, but this is already so complicated everywhere it's getting very hard to do. So let's set all the engines to presumably forward and turn them on. And they're going the wrong way already, so let's <laughs> turn them around. There we go. 14, 15 meters per second. I don't know if we're going into the wind or not, and I don't think it matters. The game isn't melting yet. I'm a little surprised about that. I do kind of want to see what happens if I try 202 items. Oh, it shows how many we have in there. Excellent. So what happens if we pick up, I don't know, 84 of these? Okay, obviously we can't fit 84 of those. I bet we can pick up a lot of stuff by the end of this day though. Millions perhaps. I also very much need to explore this possibility because I suspect that if you start placing a bunch of poles, particularly the small poles, you can actually really efficiently build a staircase to greater heights. And not only is it a very quick staircase, but you can actually build out from here because of the nature of this. Gathering the resources under normal circumstances might be a touch difficult, but once you've got a floor established, you can literally just build as far as you want and it has no bearing on the base of the wrap because it's floating. And that's really great for those of you that need some space saving solutions because that's all storage. Won't get in the way of anything. Then when you want to get access to it you just build a proper ladder. Just be sure that you actually line it up properly. I think my favorite feature of raft is how the ladders sometimes randomly swap sides so as you're building it completely disrupts what you're doing and you need to destroy it and turn it back around. Anyways we have a new sky platform so that definitely has some interesting ramifications by itself. A platform like this is a really good place to put 10,000 and fireworks. I'm just kidding. It's not exactly 10,000, but it is a lot. And that gives us a new sun in the sky. And the more we press it, the happier we get. And it's frozen and the audio sounds weird. Oh, we got the audio back. It does work. So what we need now are a few more engines. I just finally went ahead and gave myself the full 10,000. I'm going to need more engines before we're done here today. You can never have too many engines. So now we can find out what that's going to do to our speed. We were only going 6.3 meters a second, but that's because the engines are working against each other. If they're not in sync to begin with, they don't sync each other. So I'm going to make sure they're all going the same direction though I'm pretty sure there are several here, but that one's just going to have to work against the others. 23 meters a second, that's better. This feels a little better. That one's collected 350 items, 206, 320. Wonder how big those numbers get before things break. I'm going to need to start saving my game a lot more. We could probably also set a speed record. Well, we're certainly going to do our best, but I've also kind of dreamt up a quicker way to build into the sky because you can place ladders endlessly. In fact, you can place them that fast. Building the pole is kind of awkward, but that's to be expected. The fastest way to do that is just climb a little bit, center yourself, place another pole. And those can be big poles because all you have to do is just meet the top of the ladder. And then once you get some of those down, you can build whatever you want from there. Like, look how high we are now. Do you know how long it used to take me to build this high? This is absurd. This took me like three minutes. And the best part is I can start the engines from here. We're a little out of line with our garbage patch, but that's okay because we're going to turn the engines on. There we go. Wish I had a steering wheel up here. Oh, the garbage patch actually realigns with us anyway. We have a garbage seeking raft and it's very tall. I did place a steering wheel way out here, but it's still very hard to see because it just gets in the way of itself. I do kind of want to see what the fireworks look like inside them. Oh, that's actually pretty good height. That was actually purely coincidental. I did not mean to build that platform at the same height the fireworks explode but that's just a happy accident. Anyways, it's time to escalate again. Cause it seems like a lot of garbage, but like these haven't even collected 500 items yet. So I've gone ahead and turned the amount of garbage up again. It's definitely a lot thicker. We're still maybe not moving fast enough either, but I bet the numbers are starting to go up a little bit quicker. Uh, yeah, that one's up to 750, there's 770, not bad. But not great. We also have the first island that we would have actually hit, but thanks to my amazing reflexes, we've gone around it. Mm, 25 meters a second seems pretty quick. We need like a million meters per second. So while well, we could add more engines, we can just double the power of the engines. Or something like that. I'm not really sure how those calculations work, but I'm just making the numbers go bigger. Okay, the game is not loving this, but our speed is fluctuating between 51 and 250 meters a second. And it's going so quick, the garbage is the collectors are actually not working anymore. I mean to be fair some of them have collected well over a thousand things but that just tells me we probably need more collectors. Maybe I should also stack some collectors on top of each other. It doesn't look as good that way but at least that way they won't hopefully let anything slip through the cracks anymore. No wonder it's not working we're not steering directly into the garbage patch anymore. We need to be going straight into that so we don't miss a single thing. Okay that's better at this speed nothing is making it through the collectors and at full speed nope we're still letting stuff through. That's very disappointing. Not a lot of stuff but some stuff. 
Maybe we just need more garbage. And I've turned that up to be about what I think is going to be 10 times more garbage. Let's just get a little closer to have a look at what's coming. It's definitely some thicker garbage. I think at regular speed, it's going to be okay. We'll get it all. But at super speed, it's probably going to start to slip through again. We're collecting a lot of it, though, to be fair. Like, I'm really impressed with that. We might hit an island here. Whoops. It's a little bit hard to um, steer at this point. We can do it. But we're going 51 meters a second. When I walk, obviously, that's kind of multiplied. But 51 meters per second. So it looks like not a lot of stuff is getting to our second row of garbage. Uh, the front row stuff is getting lots, not as much as you'd think considering how fast we're going. I just reloaded the game and it is really not happy. It didn't want to load in and also this is what my menu looks like for some reason. Okay, now it's time to do something I've been wanting to do for a long time. We're going to find out what the maximum speed actually is before it breaks. I had to start a new save file because the old one was completely boned. Not a surprise there. But right now this is 13 meters a second, obviously no problem at all. So let's simply double that, which yeah, about doubled our speed, 26 meters a second no problem and then we'll go ahead and double that which should then be 50 meters a second a little over depending on how exactly this is calculated 51 52 meters per second still fine but way way quicker than you're supposed to be able to go and we have such a tiny little raft down there it's easy to maneuver times two of eight makes 16 which should give us 100 meters per second so that's the length of a football field every second the game is still pretty fine with this the engine probably isn't super happy about that but it doesn't get a choice we can do some really nice drifting there's two engines engines down there I only wanted two that way they'd be easier to fuel and I wouldn't have to put a ton into work into placing them I don't know why I can't talk today but that's been a thing apparently so we're gonna double the speed again to 32 and the game is still fine with this uh things are getting a little bit stuttery and weird but we're going 200 meters a second no problem. The biggest challenge at this point would be not running into islands, which is going to happen frequently, but 200 meters per second is not a problem. So doubling the numbers again, this should be 400 meters per second. Somewhere thereabouts. Oops, we went through an island. Okay, cool. We just went straight on through it. Nothing can stop us now. Yeah, it gives us different readings. I don't know why, but 400 meters a second is a pretty safe bet here. I'm actually going to remove a little bit of foundation here just so that we're a little bit less likely to snake an island. I guess we don't really need that anymore, but that can stay. Okay, 128 on the settings means we're going twice as fast again. Uh, so I think we should be going about uh, 800, 1000 meters per second. I can't remember what we were just at, but obviously the speed is pretty quick. We're getting varying ratings. I think we're kind of loading in and out of like zones. The game is still pretty fine with this. I'm not sure the islands they probably spawn in but by the time they fully render they're back there anyway so we're probably warping through things at this point so we've gone ahead and doubled things once again and pretty soon we got to be finding some of what the limit should be but we're seeing 12 13 1500 meters per second so we're going to call it about 1500 meters per second which is really 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 quick and doubling that speed should put us up to about 3000 meters a second reliably we're seeing 4000 but i know it's about 3000 reliably the game just kind of turned very smooth and blue so i'm okay with that i hate dodging islands engines are working overtime naturally we're gonna double that look at that acceleration so we should be at like 6,000, 7,000 meters a second reliably. So that's something like, yeah, seven kilometers every second, which would be incredibly fast in anything in real life. The game's still uh, very fine with this. That doesn't feel very nice, but we're so quick. Every once in a while, we do see uh, an island, but it absolutely just blinks by in a single frame. These numbers are starting to get really big. Can we got to go around this island, please? Whoa, that didn't feel very good, but we doubled the speed again. I think we broke the speedometer. I saw it blink up to about 11,000, 12,000, which should be a about our real speed if the calculations are holding correct but at this point it all kind of just starts to feel the same we're just cruising along the big blue ocean doubling the speed again this should be like 25,000 meters a second yeah uh, i don't know if the speedometer is ever properly going to read that but the game is still perfectly fine with this I don't know if we're actually moving any faster at this point though. This might be sort of like our max speed. I did see it hit 10,000 meters a second for a split second. You'll see it there. Okay, this time we're not going to double the speed. We're going times 10. Whatever that speed was, we're going 10 times faster. I just want to see if the speedometer will break 10,000 routinely. I see 11,000. 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, we're picking up speed. I don't know how this works or how this is calculated, but this is very important for uh, future purposes. 16,000 meters a second. These things are wildly fuel efficient considering how quick we're going. Uh, it's actually so quick that I can't climb the ladder at this speed. The game won't let me. Next problem we have, I've turned the engines off entirely and it's taken a while to slow down. We're finally coming back down to earth. Can I climb my ladder yet? So let's go ahead and add another zero onto those. So we should be going 10 times the speed again. We do have an island ahead, but I don't think that's going to stop us. 
There we go, and wow, 100,000 meters a second, 130,000 meters a second. It does still go faster. Uh, my steering, <laughs> I don't know what's happening to the steering wheel. It's turned into a square, 160,000 meters a second. Oh no, the longer I let it go for, the worse it gets. I don't know what it's doing. It's making me so uncomfortable. I don't know how much more of this the game is going to take. We're going to turn the engines off for a second. Hopefully reality puts itself back together. So we're at 400,000. Let's just turn this up to a million to see just sort of what that does. Uh, That should be two and a half times the speed we were just going. The game clearly didn't love that. So ah, this will probably be fine. There's 300,000 meters per second. I wonder if we can hit a million meters per second. All right, reality is starting to separate. That's a good sign. 400,000 meters a second and the steering wheel is gone. It's really fun how it does that though. I can't wait to see how much further we can take this. Uh, my raft left. Like not only did it just leave, like it, it evaporated. Oh, never mind. I caught it again. The problem was it was drifting too fast. So even when I warped to it, it felt like I was warping to ocean because it disappeared. I think we need, whoops, twice as fast. So we're going from 1 million to 2 million. Shouldn't take long for the steering wheel to separate. There's 600,000 meters a second. There's 700,000 meters a second. Three quarters of a million meters per second. I don't know what that translates to in terms of like real life application because I don't think anything goes this fast in our reality. I think the problem is the raft is kind of at several places at once and then that happens. So we need the raft to slow back down before I can catch it again. All right, I've just replaced a two with a five. So we're going two and a half times as fast as we just were and that was already seemingly pretty quick. Okay, there's one million, <laughs> there's 1.5 million meters a second. And the raft is once again existing in several places at once. Oh boy, it's not liking this very much. Where? Uh, I think I'm in the water. Something's still going. 32 million meters a second. It just keeps going. Okay, this is starting to get special because we're closing in on a very important speed. I'm having trouble staying on my raft, but we're still getting a measurement of how quick that raft is going. So we're at 100 million meters per second. We need to go three times as fast. I mean, I don't think I'm on my raft anymore, but I can't tell anymore. Okay, I've cranked the speed up once again. So we'll see where we top. Okay, we're at 1.7 billion meters a second. Uh, This is what it looks like, but that's not surprising. So 3,350 meters per second was the highest I saw. And that's fun because that's literally 10 times light speed. That's 11 times light speed, at least according to a quick Googling. Uh, obviously, the game's pretty broken, but our raft was legitimately <laughs> traveling at 10 times the speed of light. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, I think for a second, it just flashed 120 billion meters per second. I might have been wrong there, but uh, any scientists out there take note if you ever wanted to see what light speed travel looks like. Here it is. The game crashed pretty hard at that point, so I'm going to assume that 10 11 times the speed of light is about as fast as i can go and raft which is actually really impressive but you thought we were done hurting the game i need more big numbers that's a decent amount of garbage but i can still see the water so that's not enough all right the game's got a healthy amount of lag i just added a bunch of zeros so the game wouldn't really let me anymore so okay this should be about the maximum amount of garbage we can spawn so now we just need to make more collectors okay that's a healthy debris field the nets are now set to stacking unlimited amounts of garbage in them the game is already very leggy so that's a good sign we're gonna go just a little bit bigger than we have to and once we start stacking these in the garbage we're gonna hear good sounds these have already collected 22 17 you get the idea so now we can mostly just sit back and relax and let the magic happen uh, at some point the game will break these have already collected 100 items so they're gonna get into the thousands pretty quickly we just gotta keep steering this directly into the garbage patch i'm not sure if turning the engines on is gonna help because i think the garbage will just be a little bit more spaced out we'll move quicker but i don't think the game is gonna love it. Well I'm gonna go drink some coffee for a while and let this do its thing. Hopefully we don't hit an island but what do I care. I just wanted to come back and check on it real quick. Uh, they've all collected about a thousand items but the game is already slowing down quite a bit. But in case you're wondering we've already collected about 40,000 pieces of garbage in here and a lot of those have lots of multiples in them like the crates probably have five or ten items in them so we're easily over a hundred thousand items collected out of the ocean so far. Okay at this point the game is not gonna handle very much more of this. Hmm, they really only collected about three thousand items each which is a lot but not as much as i was hoping for but according to my very crude estimates there's probably between four and five hundred thousand items uh in total in my collectors so half a million items taken out of the ocean but i think we've pretty sufficiently broken raft for today so on to bigger better stupider ideas